uh good morning everyone jai hind hope you are well uh, we are having gd session right now and uh, i'll be giving you two topics uh i'll read out the topics to you then you will decide among yourself on which topic most of you want to discuss then i'll repeat the same topic again sorry i'll repeat to again super flaws okay i'll repeat the topic and after that you will do a gd in real ssb gd is going to happen somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes here i'll be giving you somewhere around 10 to 12 minutes if you are not putting relevant point and i'm saying that gd is in a right direction then i'll i'll allow you for more than that otherwise i'll stop you at uh, i mean around 12 minutes and after that i'll give you again another gd topic that time you won't have a choice you have to discuss on that particular topic and if time permits then we will have a no another gd it will be that gd topic will be somewhat you no know, layman or easy topic okay so please pay attention to the what i am saying eight species in our society are marginalized and not able to get proper treatment while government is trying to eliminate aids from the country by 2030 in your opinion what can be a big factor behind its success awareness and education in society prohibiting discrimination against aid patient ensuring full treatment for the aid no aid patient okay recently you might have watched uh, no tv uh, series farji and from inspiring that and before that also the incident of counterfeit currency in india is increasing at an alarming rate which is a serious concern for our economy in your opinion how this issue can be tackled public awareness campaign okay using e payment and plastic money strict vigilance by law enforcement please decide among yourself and do let me know on which topic you want to discuss then i'll repeat the topic and even if the topic is not clear to you right now you can ask me to repeat i think uh, we should go with the first topic the aids one which uh, was yes given. i agree with ashish let's go with the first one. but uh, second okay, topic is also agree. relevant because uh, counterfeit is uh, one of the things that is most relevant in this time and uh, they are also uh, not uh, not only affect economy they also have a wide spread uh, effect on the economy as well as society so i think we have a broad knowledge on that uh, counterfeit uh, 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 but, uh, but, but the topic, topic like but the topic like aids, but i think common, it's common uh, uh, in the society the first uh, the first topic will be more relevant to discuss Yes, it is of general awareness yes, and uh, thing of concern. It's so a major problem, problem in our Indian society. So we must go with it. It is a major pro- problem in the society. So we must go with that. So I think we should go with the first one. Yes. Okay, okay, gentlemen. Most of us are going with the first topic. So let's continue with the first topic. Okay, wait. Hold your horse. Uh, topic was eight percent in our society are marginalized and not able to get proper treatment. while government is trying to eliminate aids from our country by 2030 in your opinion what can be a big factor behind its success what should government do uh, increase awareness and education in society prohibiting or no bringing law uh, to prohibit discrimination against aids patient or ensuring full treatment for the aids patient you can start okay friends okay. i think the uh, the first point is more relevant that by increasing the awareness among the people we can reduce the aids cases in india as people will aware that what are the safety measures that we should put forward in our minds while very that- rightly said palak as uh, the sexual topic and uh, the problems like aids are you know not decide uh, not discussed among the people because they are uh, pe- they are you know afraid of uh, being made fun of uh, the topic or about the ail- ailment that they are having so to make people aware about this thing government uh, should do something as uh, you you have mentioned that the first point we should go with there are so many things that government is doing like uh, there are tv ads about the dots and uh, many things like ads ad awareness camp aid awareness campaign is also going on so the points like this uh, is there and recently like we have seen in colleges the organization like ncc and nns nss are doing very good in this thing they are you know uh, you know uh, organizing rallies uh, regarding the awareness towards aids and sexual wellness so these are yeah. the things that are being done by the government yeah in in rural, in rural area we have also seen that there is a asa 
asa worker as well as there is a primary health uh, primary health center which is uh, which uh, conduct uh, various type of uh, we can say that various type of uh, awareness among the rural people they are aware about the uh, preventive measures so that the spreadness of these diseases will be prevented mainly the asha workers are uh, are one of the base uh, one of the base that government are trying to uh, uh, try to give their uh, awareness or trying to what uh, what they are uh, want to uh, convey their messages by the basic, uh, by the roots of uh, and by the heads of asha workers and yes, this is yes kumar I, yes kumar i want to add a point here if we see the graph we could see that the patients are coming from more from the rural area the first thing is they are not aware of the disease of uh, aids various symptoms and the precaution they should take for this disease so government should work hand in hand with different ngos and government organization with ashas and also spread awareness precaution measures and prevent uh, pre preventive measures and the medication uh, they should provide to the rural area where the people yes, who are aware of this the reason behind the topic this is that, that the aged people, people are marginalized so the reason for the same is that the people are not aware like some way uh, we have heard that uh, even if we'll shake hand with the aged person we'll get transmitted with the aids but it's not like that people are not aware so the organizations the like uh, there is a lack of total in depth knowledge there is a lack of in depth knowledge among the people they are yes, uh, same superficial they are superficial knowledge but in depth knowledge is uh, still lacking in the country चंडीगढ़ so in that uh, there is a screen uh, on the entrance where the awareness about aids and sexual wellness is uh, going on uh, 24 by 7 that's a very good step people are sitting over there on uh, chairs waiting for their patient to i mean who are uh, in you know operation theater or who is go who went to the doctor's office for the treatment uh, they are you know continuously watching that thing there is not something like i mean in chandigarh also there are so pamphlets uh, uh, around the hospitals as well as uh, as well as on the common uh, places like bus stands and uh, even uh, on the school gates there yes, are so many pamphlets regarding it to about the sexual wellness and the fact yes as we gentlemen there is very less issue in the uh, in the urban area government should more focus on the rural area i was i was trying to make the point also the government should be focus more on the rural area because uh, due to the orthodox mentality of the rural area uh, area people are not allowed themselves to talk on this kind of matter Uh, yeah. This, yeah. Apart from uh, so apart from hospital, we can also say that there is a barber shop where where uh, uh, in the uh, in the past period we have seen that people are not using uh, different blades for different shavings or we are using same trimmers for the uh, same uh, same things. So uh, and after the awareness and uh, various government campaigns, we have seen that now people are aware that they uh, they use their uh, they use their skin by different blades or save uh, save their uh, Yeah, save their uh, beard by their different skip. These are the small so things. So the but, solution uh, effect, for the same can be is like very, there are government uh, dispensaries large. in the rural areas. In every area, there uh, I mean in every taluka, there is a dispensary for sure, organized uh, I mean run by the government. So there yes. should be awareness campaigns and awareness rally should be there. I mean if there is a Sunday, like if I'll talk about Bihar, I am from Bhagalpur. So in that area, like people uh, on Sundays, there is some kind of rally. whether it is regarding the aids or regarding the sexual wellness there is a primary government school they you know the teachers are so much aware that they made their student you know prepare the pamphlets or charts to make people aware about the things related to the sexual wellness aids and the personal hygiene as well so these yeah. kind of chef taking all the posters will not work you know uh, people yeah. should have seen their ideas also you know the organization nursing and the this prime work will be go to village adapt to village go to village involve the local government take a drive and amitabh bachchan itself and we see that tuberculosis is now decreased so it is because of awareness so we need to aware the people around us very rightly I said also, the as, as you mentioned about a public that. figure figure as like if if a, if a public speaker i mean a public figure who is you know most uh, very prominent in public as you mentioned about mr bachchan 
the people like Sachin Tendulkar and other people are also, you know, making people aware about the several, you know, effects of being healthy, effects of being healthy, like Sachin is currently, you know, uh, promoting the hand washing and like, as you said about fever classes, people like them should come forward and government should approach them to, you know, do such advertisements. Yes, to make people aware. Yeah, because we people have also seen that cricket match. When, want to put when, one more when there is a cricket match happening, the, the cricketers are, kind of cricketers are using their symbols of AIDS on the 1st December on the AIDS day. So that they can, so, so that a large number of people can get... That people gonna judge them or someone gonna say to them that this disease is not well. So I think that people, government should run program that if someone got AIDS or something like that, it should become more clear on that. Topic. What the solution should be, like as I mentioned about the the is, uh, yeah, uh, there are doctors for sure. Right? Government, government should run a mandate to help. Yes, yes, yes. The rural areas, the schools are there where people come to vote or for anything, right? So there should be a gathering of people of the village by the Sarpanch. And they should call the doctor from dispensary to make people aware about these aware kind of things. Yes, so yes, this yes, will really yes, help. Yes, but the definition of the people is going to be on a certain topic. There, 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 there is not only aware the people regarding the eggs and all this, but also they will aware the people regarding the other social issues, health issues, and also tell the government policies to them. So now people are aware. They are not discriminating the AIDS patient. And people must should be aware on that topic that if if someone got that kind of problem, they should not look them at the eyes of something like suspected or anything like that. People as we have earlier, as we have earlier discussed, person. that uh, it is uh, the problem is more in the rural area. So rural area yes. is the grassroots of the Indian country. So uh, if their leader, I mean the rural area's leader is Sarpanch, Sarpanch if he will come yes. forward and you know take an initiative to make people aware about the sexual wellness and AIDS, then the, the taboo of uh, discussion will be removed and people will be aware and the problem of AIDS will be rectified uh, very soon. Yes, and I would like yes, to... Yes, yes, yes. If we are focusing on the awareness program, then the... Uh, forward in this matter and they should educate people who are coming there. So that's all. Primary teachers and primary school teachers can also play a major role in that. They can also educate society on a better level. Which are in collaboration with healthcare provider. One of the vulnerable society or the part is that the migrant workers, which are mainly affected or the very susceptible to these things is that so the migrant people um, uh, migrant workers where they are going for a uh, working they are also uh, being aware by the government or by, um, by the uh, company where he, uh, he works and and this is the one of the cause that uh, we have seen that in uh, covid 19 also that uh, a large number of migrant workers have uh, been affected by these uh, by covid 19 as well as and also by the uh, by these diseases, by these diseases, uh, diseases also. Very rightly said, Sachin. As uh, I would like to give an example, like how, uh, like how people are being aware. Like uh, if I talk about the city indoor till 2013, I mean the pigs were you know on the roads. Commonly there was you know water. I mean filled up on the pots. But nowadays it is counted as the cleanest city in India. Why? Yeah. How this happened? So the you know the municipal corporation of indoor took the initiative. And they decided to decided to clean the city. And now today, even not even a single person who is going to the market is taking a polythene. Everyone is taking a you know carry back from their home. And they are you know uh, if if I am uh, from outside, like I am from Chandigarh, if I'll be throwing uh, uh, something on the road, then uh, the person, the citizen of Indore, will be coming to me and saying that don't do this. Uh, I mean, otherwise you will get fine. I mean, whether it is uh, the you know fear of fine, but still they are take, make uh, you know keeping their city clean. So this is how there should be some awareness program so that people, there should be a self-discipline in the people so that they can do it, they, uh, it on their own. Yes, yes. Ashish. Right, more practical right now, the government has already, already yes. advertising and awareing the people regarding the AIDS. What else we can do is we can uh, aware the people right from very young age. We can implement uh, instructions and awareness right from the schools where people would educate and uh, get aware at very young age. And also we could impl implement in a local gram panchayat, uh, gram sabal, where everyone gathers and there we can uh, discuss this so issue and also we can aware people and not regarding the ads only, but we can aware people regarding various different health issues and also uh, tell people regarding the government scheme and health. Uh, health policies and various I medication you, Prasad, preventive measures. Recently, recently Prasad, I have been uh, uh, gone through a very disturbing news 
I saw that the 12 year go, uh, 12 year girl got periods and his elder brother who brother is 30 year old yes. killed her just because he thought that uh, I mean she had a sexual had relationship a sex with, with someone as he was not aware about the periods. So the awareness should be there. That is the main point. And uh, he was from a village from Rajasthan. So this is the you know failure of the uh, local government. Local. I think the failure of the is. primary school teachers who are not exactly. teaching the basic yeah. sexual yeah. education to the education curriculum starts from the class at college. Ignore the sex education in our educational curriculum. It is the main cause that people are not aware about the disease. Not only aware about the disease, but how to tackle them also. There is a special chapter for this disease, and that is also targeted educational campaign. Can be lost in government. It is caused by HIV influenza virus. So it is a viral disease. People used to discriminate the AIDS patient. They thought that. By the hand of touch, they will be communicate uh, communicable by this disease. But it's not the case right now. People are taking care of each other and are no more aware. Like we see in the health dispensary unit, the uh, free. Uh, Uh, selling of the condoms and all the sexual uh, safety products now people are aware that what is yes, useful yes. for them and not so that's how people are yes. aware yes yeah, the government is also one point that that should add more about it if we if we add on a particular in a primary education as a uh, also add in a sex education in primary education it is one of the best thing that we had do because uh, it not only uh, 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 say people Like uh, basically, what it what it is like people who is suffering from AIDS feels you know uh, discriminated or alone just because yes, yes. you know they are being made fun by the people or you know they are you know uh, kept uh, on a distance from the people. So this is not the thing. They should also need uh, you know being motivated by the by their friends and family so that they can you know recover fast. Up, so for up, this, I the, think the, the basic idea of this is already uh, there in the current uh, practice. It is upon the primary teachers that you know, doing that handshake, then it won't be transmitted or contaminated. So it, uh, there are only several. I mean, very less thing by which it can be you know transmitted. It is sexual intercourse, and uh, it is. You know, uh, having food in the same, uh, I think uh, uh, that is not also the yes. uh, reason, but the same injection yes. or the same blade people that we are using. People are more aware about it. As Sachin has mentioned, so that people get yes. from that use of mask and touch or something yourself. like that in getting people. Gentlemen, many youth organizations like NCC are take are adapting villages and uh, addressing people regarding social issues. Regarding so, gentlemen, uh, NCC should also consider. Also, get collaborate with PSC and local government, and go door to door and aware people not re uh, regarding the AIDS, various preventive measures, medication, and also regarding the family planning, and also on the social taboo which are uh, spread uh, various uh, false news. Very like, rightly uh, said by Prasad. As nowadays the DG NCC has you know uh, rotated a circular in which uh, the NCC unit of every college is supposed to adopt a nearby village. to make people aware about the yeah. you know uh, these social taboos and sexual wellness and about you know, what they do they they uh, organize rallies they do nukkar natak to make people aware so uh, what happens after this yes, that people yes. who are in young age got a exposure in very early age that how this thing work and how this happens and how to take preventive measures of it so ultimately it is you know more, uh, you know uh, creating a good youth for the future so that these diseases and these taboos will be uh, you know neutralized in the future Yes, and in the NSS itself, in the national uh, uh, national service, the people and the youth and the especially the college going youth, they participate in them and they go to the nearby villages, not in the city, and there they aware people. They distribute their safety uh, related medical facilities and they aware by posters and by going to their home and talk to the ladies directly. So that's how his awareness is spreading, and it will be improved in the future also. Okay, ladies, government also government also think on. Talk to them Top. about this condition. I think in rural areas, lady doctors, to talk to about uh, to the female candidate, they are not very sure and come up with this kind of thing in front of a maid. Stop. Okay, most of you tried well, performed well. Some of you didn't. Okay. Now, I'll giving you very easy topic that most of you have you no know, come across since your childhood. And you know, seen talking your you know family members, elders. Now you might be also facing this. Ah, uh, fuel prices in country you know have raised and constantly going on a high level. Ah, uh, in your opinion, who are responsible for this? 
सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ऑयल एक्सपेक्ट नो एक्सपोर्टिंग कंपनी टॉपिक इज वेरी इजी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ओके आई बिलीव प्लीज पे अटेंशन आई विल नॉट रिपीट इट फ्यूल प्राइस हैव रिज टू अ न्यू हाई एंड इट इज नो कॉन्स्टेंटली गोइंग अप वर्ल्ड इन योर ओपिनियन हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल और आई मीन हुज कंट्रीब्यूशन इज दिस ओके इज इट सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट और ऑयल एक्सपोर्टिंग कंट्रीज यू कैन स्टार्ट Okay, so the topic is of handling fuel prices. So uh, since 2020, we are seeing that the prices of fuel and LPG increasing. Reason for the same is after 2020, we had a uh, you know a discrepancy with the relationship in with Iran. So how this happened that uh, when Donald Trump came in the government of America, he put the sanctions under the JCPOA treaty with uh, against Iran. what actually happened after that you know in uh, india was in support of us and uh, he said i mean donald trump has said that if anyone will do trade with uh, iran then he'll put on sanctions on that country so what actually happened after that i mean we we, we are having uh, duty free uh, uh, oil from iran so after that we stopped taking the oil from iran we just uh, reduced our consumption from iran by 90% so after that we started taking shale oil from uh, us so that's the prime reason after which the oil prices are dwindling uh, so rapidly yes i also but support yes, that yes gentlemen and the ongoing war situation in russia and ukraine is, is also a prime reason for this as we see that the central government policy uh, is to formulate it to less usage of the transportation and the more usage of public transportation but now we are focusing on our public uh, uh, not on the public one but are on private vehicles we are purchasing more and more so that's how fuel are uprising and also according to me the government is not taking the uh, right initiative for the policy of the fuel as we said there is a lack of policy basically one yeah, more thing is uh, exporting countries and controlling the price of the price of fuel because if you look at the exporting countries like opec plus and opec these are the countries which mainly control the price if you look at the uh, uh, russia iran uh, saudi arabia these are the country which control uh, which control the prices of fuel by various means Uh, what basically and, happened what basically yeah, happened and, and after covid our, after covid they don't want to export much oil like saudi arabia exports uh, oil to the whole world but after the covid they are you know care, keeping it in reserve that i'll use it during the situation or calamity so that it will be you know costing more for the people who are purchasing so this yeah, is how it is also, everyone also is having a business it, mentality like opec countries as sachin has mentioned so they are uh, keeping it reserve and you know selling very less amount of fuel that's why the pricing is increased yeah we yes, are seeing that high grain prices are falling the prices are falling the countries are reducing their production and if we see that countries which are giving which are want to give the fuel prices at a very low price at a very low price the countries like usa and other countries in the country usa and other countries they are controlling like venezuela and other countries they are they have a very much oil reserves but they uh, but the usa and other countries they do not want that venezuela will export uh, oil to the other countries because the uh, because the business of the uh, uh, usa companies of oil exporting countries will uh, got vanished and this is the thing that uh, it is like a diplomatic uh, ties we, we that uh, you can uh, go with the exactly. other country and then you say that the central government or policy or focus on this is the use public transportation and other alternative method of fuels like we should focus upon the renewable uh, fuel energy and also we could contribute in our comment uh, in the cop 26 award mitigating so listen, uh, 50% what actually, of the the thing, what actually is happening like if fuel prices are increasing ultimately for trade we need fuel also because for cargo ship we need a lot of fuel right so yes. ultimately the inflation will be there because prices of goods will be increasing so everything will be you know increasing even the price i mean the fare of the auto or the bus is also increasing this is ultimately the uh, due to the fuel price so ultimately it is the failure of diplomacy that uh, we stop we we, are, we couldn't maintain the good relationship with iran because yes. during uh, like when the when we had good relationship with iran during 2016 17 the prices of fuel was around 79 big. or 80 rupees right yes, so, but yes, after, yes. after uh, within 4 years it just you know raised up to 30 rupees 
right? It, it went around 110 in Indore, sure. 108 in Chandigarh. So it, this is how it is. I mean, the fuel prices have rise rapidly just because after we have, you know, stopped the uh, diplomatic relationship with Iran correctly and after the COVID, obviously, because the oil, petrol and exporting countries are, you know, keeping it in reserve so that they can use it during the calamity uh, or, and they are having a business mind. mainly because of the oil the America attacked yeah invaded Iraq because of oil and also other countries like uh, uh, like Syria and other countries, they are also invaded by Iraq, uh, by America because of oil. If they control the oil reserves, they control the whole world because oil is the one of the basic source that all countries want. And if if they control oil, they are uh, they are just cont uh, controlling the whole world. They, uh, this to is the affected. That's and why the prices are being dwindled. That is one of the, you know, core reasons. From the fuel, uh, fuel itself. As we see, there is a lack of taxation system. As for if we uh, use electricity, and there is a fix, like I read in some report, there is written that for one kilo unit, there is something for the production of electricity, rupees 10 something. And they're taking from us six rupees, seven rupees. Means they are distributing it like a free. They are not taking uh, the production course. So to culminate that effect, they are taking the uh, tax from the other sector. They are increasing there. So there is no... Sir, uh, one more reason is that... The government's the central, dependency on the any single country was one of the reasons behind... Right, uh, because there are... Uh, I, India so has a multi-party system. Must be very we are not communist. In we are in the democracy. They must I mean, suppose that if somewhere uh, is uh, the government of uh, Congress get fuel from any country, and uh, the so center is of BJP, then... Uh, the gentlemen here, yeah, government should focus upon the national interest. And uh, saying that the center is the situation we are the importing yes, oil from Russia. Russia. If we see the present situation, relation with the countries, yeah. so that our price of the fuel got down. Yeah, but I yeah, if you see the present situation, we have seen that uh, diplomatic also. relations with the other countries like Russia, Iran, Iraq, uh, India are getting widespread uh, countries which are but producing, uh, which are producing oil. Support, so oil by, we are not taking one country, uh, uh, we are not taking oil from one country. We, we are taking very, which give a very low price, which give us very uh, low rate. Yeah. And this is the diplomatic thing that we are keeping on. And we are yes, also recently, looking I think the statement of the foreign secretary who said that India will take the oil from we Wherever have it has you know, to, tried to develop was really a bold uh, step for the US the and country. some other and uh, as uh, our prime minister is having very good relationship with the Saudi Arabia dependent so and ultimately we will be having where, where better we results in future and prices of fuel will be falling down soon just because of the diplomacy and the only thing that can you know bring the prices down is diplomacy only because yes, yes, we are not the producers with, we are not the producer yes. or manufacturer so we have yeah, to buy this, seeing buy hook or buy hook. So ultimately, we have to improve the diplomatic relations with our country. We have to maintain the relation and also increase that kind of friendship with the other countries. So that yes, in, as in we see the Europe is coming to China, the world is using greener hydrogen. The other countries are not using it. So that will be benefit in our part. The world is using green hydrogen and what we are running behind is petroleum. So uh, there is a lack of policies in formulating of electric vehicles. Now the government is moving it forward, but there is lack. So if we are, the most of population are using electric vehicles and EVs, so there is less in the consumption of petroleum and the prices will automatically decrease. Yes, in Arunachal Pradesh, it has started also the first train of green. Right. green fuel. Yes. yes, government is taking measures yes, yes, electric see, vehicles and uh, The electric vehicle concept is very good, but ultimately yes, for sir. the trade, we require petroleum for fuel. sure. Petroleum, yes, yes. yes, for trade we require the petroleum and for the... Basic necessity, so, exactly, because the uh, so we India are is a very large and exporting and so many commodities from the world. Energy. So, so it is not the, we need petroleum. The renewable and, sources are the very uh, yes, uh, giving uh, very uh, less uh, less amount of energy, and fuel is a one of the source which gives a large amount of energy. Alternative source are there, but fuel is not the uh, in in the present. It is not the one of one uh, one time solution. We have to uh, we have to go with the petroleum is the necessity, but. Uh, 
In China, they have started the hydrogen and fuel, and Germany has also adopted yeah. it. So, yeah, we can reduce the use of consumption of petroleum, and we can be less dependent from other using hydrogen, uh, hydrogen vehicles, fuels, etc. Yes, I support all. So, yes, so 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 yes, but ultimately for the trade we require fuel and for okay. the ultimately if, if you if you will check the major consumption of fuel is in trade only because yeah. we are in yeah. you know we we export, export and import so many yes, yes. Uh, commodities from whole world so ultimately reducing the uh, the consumption in country will reduce it by 20 or 30% only but still we require that 70% and for that the pricing will be the same that won't be much effect yeah, for, but for ultimately so if we raising the fuel that is ties with the government uh, can, 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 can also help us to be less dependent on them for fuel it will increase the bonding between the gulf countries and it will definitely no, even if there is a dependency even if there is a dependency then there should be good uh, diplomatic relationship like yes, iran yes. was providing duty free yes. fuel to us right so relationships uh, like that should be maintained with other countries yes and so yes, yes, that yes, can be done yes, yes, using yes, different ties and interest. various ties yes, various yes, resources yes, that india has exchanging of resources yes as we said after corona we are making the friendly relation with russia and we are exporting its oil to the other countries so that's how we can with the help of diplomacy and the central government major so, policies we can yeah and also one of the major uh, project of the uh, russia iran and that we uh, go of pipeline uh, from central uh, central asia and we connect the, those countries so that they, they can we can easily available uh, get the natural gas get the other uh, type of fuels easily so it is one of the things that they all they are the future planning but it will uh, help india more uh, in a uh, in a future i think yes as i mentioned about the shale oil uh, shale oil earlier us is having shale oil only because uh, it is there but other countries like uh, gulf countries are, are you know major producer of the fuel so india is trying to develop the relationship with gulf countries like recently we have seen uh we have we have some relationship with saudi arabia which is you know developing in good uh, direction and uh, we are uh, trying starting to starting of ipl in saudi arabia, arabia but that is ultimately also. china yes yes but ultimately the china has taken over iran uh, with the chabar port construction so we have to you know regenerate some relationship with iran and saudi arabia which are major you know producer of uh, the, the oil, oil and we are trying to develop the relationship with you know austria okay, okay. Uh, got it any one of you unmute any one of you remain unmuted and please repeat the topic last digit topic aap mein se koi ek kya koi bhi unmute karke mere ko abhi jo aakhri jo gd ka topic tha wo mere ko repeat kijiye thoda sa any one of you sir dwindling other than aapki services ha sir seeing the rising very solution very solution for the aids sir fueling price high in the rise of central government ya state so government ya kisi aur ka role hai yes sir okay chalo matlab sir for the solution of no solution we have for for solution of aids we have no no dhyan se suno amkar why you are matlab i was talking sir. about last topic jo bhi humne last mein kara tha okay so i think maine jo bataya tha aapko samajh mein aaya tha sunai diya tha you have not talk, not talked about you know keeping petroleum outside the gst excise vat uh, no various other other state government that no imposes you talked very you know bahut kam apne baat kar raha and most of your discussion was around uh, what is it called opec russia usa iran kar sakte the par ye idhar chhota ek hi baar aap mein se kisi ne palak ne ईवी के बारे में बात कर रहा है ठीक है गवर्नमेंट जब ईवी को अडॉप्ट करेगी तो पेट्रोलियम पे हमारा जो डिपेंडेंसी होगा वो कम होगा ओके तो हम पेट्रोल के प्राइसेस को कंट्रोल कर पाएंगे और उसके बाद 
हल्का आप इसमें ये भी बात कर सकते थे कि पेट्रोल के प्राइस इंक्रीज करने से क्या होता है कि सारा चीज है ना कि सारा कमोडिटी इफेक्ट होता है सारा चीज का प्राइस इफेक्ट होता है तो सेकेंड टॉपिक में ऑलमोस्ट परफॉर्मेंस सबका सबका नहीं एक सचिन का थोड़ा सा बेहतर था आशीष का ओके था पालक का ओके था प्रसाद पॉइंट्स बोला है तुमने पर कुछ रेलेवेंट पॉइंट नहीं बोला है सेम गोल्स भी था अभिषेक एंड अंकित ओमकार आपने तो पॉइंट बोला है पर उसका कुछ मतलब था नहीं ओमकार ने अब भी अब तुमने भी बोला है पर कुछ जीडी के जो टॉपिक्स थे उससे लिंक करके कुछ तुमने ढंग के पॉइंट्स नहीं बोले हैं सेम गोल्स फॉर यू अंकित अल्सो करण यू हैव नॉट स्पोकन यू हैव टू रीड अबाउट इट तो ये था लेट्स टॉक अबाउट हाँ पहला वाला जो टॉपिक था उसमें पार्टिसिपेशन वाज वेरी डिशेंट ओके वन थिंग आशीष यू कैड हैवॉइडेड इट इज अ फेलियर ऑफ नो गवर्नमेंट दैट दैट नो बॉय हैज नो किल्ड एन ऑल तो आप ना गवर्नमेंट को सीधा नहीं करो बोलो कि डिप्लोमेसी का बोला था नो नो इट वाज अ फेलियर ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट व्हेन दैट बॉय इन राजस्थान किल्ड आर सिस्टर ओके सो मींस योर वर्ड अ बिट हां सिस ओके 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 व्हाट योर वर्ड यू इज अ डिफरेंट नो चॉइस ऑफ वर्ड्स शुड बी डिफरेंट इट शुड बी लाइक नो व्हाट इट कुड बी दैट इट वाज अ लैक ऑफ नो अवेयरनेस और लैक ऑफ एफिशिएंसी फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट देयर इज अ टू थिंग्स फेलियर इज अ वेरी स्ट्रांग वर्ड okay failure that means uh this effort no sincere effort was not there or it efforts were adequate okay so failure is bit of strong word here uh, the choice of words would, would have been better otherwise you know overall uh, in first gd your performance was very good it was you know like uh, jo hota hai na rating jo karte hain gdo jo rating karte hain aapka scale mein the ek line ke upar mein so it will be you will be on top one or two palak uh, your performance was also quite okay type you spoke a lot but relevancy has not been maintained you have to know connect it with the topic that was given to you uh, blabbing a certain points is uh, not uh, i mean sufficient hai na kya bol do random facts kuch bhi bol do to waisa nahi chalta hai सचिन तुमने भी वही करा पहले वाले में तुमने कुछ भी एकदम से जीडी के टॉपिक से कनेक्ट करने के लिए कुछ कोशिश नहीं करा तुमने तुम बोले जा रहे थे बोले जा रहे थे बोले जा रहे थे बस आखिरी में तुमने एक आ, कुछ तो बोला है मेरे को याद नहीं आ रहा है पर आखिरी वाला तुम्हारा कुछ शायद अवेयरनेस का था या सेक्स एजुकेशन ऐसा कुछ हाँ सेक्स एजुकेशन वाला था दैट वॉज ओनली गुड पॉइंट दैट नो पुट प्रसाद योर ओनली पॉइंट गुड वॉज दैट ऑफ एन सी सी वाला की एन सी सी को हम कर सकते हैं अवेयरनेस रेस योर पार्टिसिपेशन वॉज ऑल्सो नॉट रेलिवेंट अभिषेक प्लीज डो नॉट इंटरप्ट इन बिटवीन जस्ट टू से ओके या दिस इज दैट और एक दो लाइन बोलने के लिए इंटरप्ट नहीं करना है पार्टिसिपेशन वॉज गुड इन द फर्स्ट नो जी डी अभिषेक योश बट रेलिवेंसी शुड बी इंक्रीज एंड प्लीज कीप इन माइंड दैट whatever lines that you are drawing make makes your definite is connecting to that three one of the three leads okay ye dhyan dena hai uh, ankit omkar uh, your performance was not good you have to read about this and we'll do it okay uh, let's go once again performance of ashish palak and sachin both gd i'm talking about ashish palak sachin and prasad was good but in second gd topic most of you have not performed well you have to read about this topic was very relevant to you but you have missed very crucial point okay aap iske bare mein padhoge dono topic ke bare mein aur teen topic maine aaj humne kara hai teeno topic ke bare mein main aapko group mein bhej dunga aap teeno topic pe mere ko likh ke bhejoge बाय एंड ऑफ टुमारो और मतलब अगर टाइम लगता है तो कोशिश करो दो दिन में दो या तीन दिन में मैक्सिमम ट्यूसडे के एंड शाम तक मेरे को ट्यूसडे को शाम को जब क्लास रहेगा तो आप सेंड करोगे विल सेंड मी ओके ओके सर ओवरऑल परफॉर्मेंस मतलब बाकी पार्टिसिपेशन का भी परफॉर्मेंस ऐसा नहीं है कि अभिषेक का चाहे ओमकर का अंकित का खराब था पार्टिसिपेशन के भी पॉइंट मिलते हैं बट मैं थोड़ा सा स्ट्रिक्ट रहता हूँ कि आप पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे हो लेकिन रेलिवेंट नहीं है तो आई नॉट गिव यू एनी पॉइंट ठीक है 
anything that um, any one of you want to know, talk, discuss, or share. Hmm. Each and everything is clear to all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you happy with your yes, performances? Sir. How many of you are happy with your performances? Please put on your videos. How many of you are happy with your performance? Who is not happy? Only Palak. Sir, better than the previous one. Ah, okay. Improvement. It should be always upward. What about you, Asis? Uh, sir, miss kar gaya second topic mein kafi kuch wo matlab IGS ne ro nahi raha SGST IGST ke bare mein batana chahiye tha wo bola bhi tha matlab fir wo topic ka direction hi kahin aur chala gaya koi nahi but your performance was also good aur matlab apne aap ko na judge karna hai to fir apni galtiyon se hi nahi judge karo apni achhaiyon ko bhi rakh judgment ka matlab hota whole picture okay so your performance you should have raised the hand Okay. Okay. Look, SSB, SSB, I mean, this can happen. There are your chances. SSB, me, you have to be very brutal. I mean, one thing is that if you leave all large things, you leave everything. What was good, you keep it. Bad for that reason, you don't have to do your mood down. If you come out, if the result doesn't come out, then you have to cry, you have to cry, you have to cry, you have to cry, you have to cry. या भंड हो जाना है वो करना पर एसएसबी में मतलब भंड तो नहीं ओनाल सजेस्ट भंड आई मीन होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर गेटिंग इट नो टेकिंग एनी इंटॉक्सिकेंट बट वहां पे रहो कि ठीक है गलत हो गया कोई बात नहीं है आई होल माय हॉर्सेस व्हाट एवर इज द नेक्स्ट आई विल गिव माय बेस्ट एंड आई इफ आई हैव टू नो देयर इज सर्टेन टाइम इन योर एसएसबी और इन एसएसबी टास्क योर मोरल विल बी यू नो आई मीन क्लाउड 9 एंड आई नो आई मीन After a task or maybe due to some of your mistake, it will go in a Mariana Trench. But while you are in Mariana Trench, think about that you are on cloud 9 or maybe on no stratosphere. Okay? So, you have to keep your attention. Do you understand? Yes, sir. It was not bad for performance, but one or two points were missed. It was not a point that was missed. The rest of the performance was also good in second GD also. ओके इफ यू आर वाचिंग द रिकॉर्डिंग असिस वेट अच्छा हाँ बोलो अरे गलती से हो गया था इफ यू आर वाचिंग द रिकॉर्डिंग एंड यू आर नो स्टूडेंट ऑफ द क्लास इवन इफ यू आर नॉट यू वांट टू नो गेट इट इवैल्यूएटेड योर राइटिंग्स ऑन दिस टॉपिक्स देन प्लीज डू राइट एंड राइटिंग इज वन ऑफ � Okay, so writing is the key thing of your personality. One who does not write well, cannot think well, cannot order well. Okay, so you will see that you are writing well. And in other class A officer's exam, or in our officers' exam, or in our government of India or state government, you have a paper for men's paper, or a essay paper. Okay? So, you will write about this. अब बेगर सेशन में आपका पार्टिसिपेशन अच्छा भी था तीनों टॉपिक पे लिखोगे और ओके दैट इज इट अगर कुछ डिस्कस करना है जीडी के रिगार्डिंग कुछ डिस्कस करना है तो आप बताओ अदरवाइज आल इन द रिकॉर्डिंग ओके आल टेक दैट एस अ नो सो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग हैव अ गुड डे टेक केयर जाइए